Welcome to the Raw and Real of Real Estate podcast, powered by LPT Realty, real estate reimagined, with your host, the one and only Betsy Tinnerbin. On this podcast, we bring you people who share their personal journeys in life, business, and of course, real estate. Get motivated, inspired, and priceless information from entrepreneurs, community leaders, and realtors who are thriving. Now let's get raw and real. Here's Betsy. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, Betsy Tinnervin, with the Sunshine Real Estate Investments Team. This show is powered by LPT Realty, and we would like to thank Robert Palmer for making this possible. We love the factor that we bring you the raw and real of life, business, and of course, real estate. We are excited to have awesome, amazing guests in our studio. Very cool story of how one of our guests ended up here today. We are actually going to be talking about some investment space stuff, kind of taking the plunge and getting into real estate or any industry for that matter, just kind of switching gears in your career and really taking the bull by the horns and becoming successful in your industry. And we also have some mortgage finance advice in the house today. So I'm excited to have this group of people here. To all of our listeners out there, I know that we did kind of a little rerun last weekend. I actually got food poisoning, which was totally not fun. It was a first for me. But we are back in the house, excited to be here. I'm going to introduce my guest today. This is a very cool story. I know I talk about networking and marketing and all the things. And it was crazy when we started the show. We had so many people were like, hey, we listen to the show. We want to listen to it again. Or we want to find you on Facebook. So we started this Facebook page. And it's the LPT Radio All-Stars Facebook page. So if you have not joined it and you are a local business professional in the community, you're a realtor with any brokerage, you are just anyone impacting and providing value in the Tampa Bay area, should definitely check it out we will try to get you on the show and let you spit all your gems but i have miss melissa cox in the studio today how you doing miss melissa i'm doing great how about yourself and so melissa was just scrolling through her feed found the lpt all-star facebook page read the directions which <laughs> melissa in 2023 it seems like common sense <laughs> is not free anymore so melissa you read the directions and you email dom and you're like listen i'm in the mortgage industry and i want to be on the show is that kind of how it went down? Pretty much. <laughs> and we started from the bottom, now we're here. So why, what was the interest? I know that you are with First Florida Home Mortgage. You're actually a branch manager. And I know that you're obviously just providing value in the real estate world. So you kind of like reached out to us and now you're here. Tell me what you do and what you're about. I'm a mortgage broker. I work with many le different lenders and all branches not what they call non-QM, which is non-conventional and conventional and all the government loans, such as Homes for Heroes, which is a wonderful program for all types of front frontline workers. We're really trying to, you know, reach out to that community. I love that. And how long have you been in the industry? 20, almost 21 years. Okay, cool. So, you know, pretty much when I was like, you know, a teenager bopping around, you know, you were actually like in the industry. That's awesome. So I think that it's really cool, just the power of networking. And I think that, you know, social media can either be someone's worst nightmare or their best friend. So I definitely appreciate you reaching out. I can't wait to dive deep into your mortgage loan programs. And for everyone out there listening, what's so cool about Melissa reaching out is like, she really doesn't have any LPT agents or other agents that she's married to. She was like, listen, I'm a value in this industry and I want to share what I know. And so I really love that. I love your persistency. I love oh, your commitment you. to the industry. I can't wait to get to know you today. Thank you very much. I also have Miss Kiera Hires. And she is on the Lux Group team. She is newer in the industry. She actually comes from a space of recruitment for Avent Health. So she is not only a Florida native and really, really, really knows this market, but she is a new agent with LPT and a member of the Lux Group. So awesome to have you here, Miss Kira. Thanks for having me. Like, I am super excited. When I was like, I'm I'm going to what? Be on the radio? Yes. Sign <laughs> me up. And where do I sign? Sign me up. Listen, I was born for this life. <laughs> I love that. I love just the factor, too, that, you know, again, your commitment to the industry, your confidence level. I think that, you know, sales starts with 
face-to-face relationship-based sales. So when you're confident in the industry, I also know you made the move from Keller Williams to LPT. Why the move and why the switch? Well, I wanted to be on a group. You know, as a new agent, it's really hard, like, when you're not used to the industry. So I wanted to be around other like-minded people in the group and learn from there. Keller Williams, really good with training. It's just that they wasn't able to provide me a group as a part-time agent because I was still a full-time recruiter. So I met Yvonne. She told me about her group on the Lux group. And I just thought, okay, hey, let me join because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to be mentored, coached, to get out here and actually learn. I respect everything about what you said. One, it's just very humbling. And two, I couldn't agree with you more. I definitely suggest to any agents that are newer in the industry, don't go in and recreate the wheel. You know, use the rip off and repeat method. And there's a lot of us that have made tons of mistakes. Melissa, I'm sure you could agree. And I always tell people if I had a Betsy in my life 10 years ago when I came to Florida, I would have skipped so many like pain points. So we're so glad to have you here. Can't wait to dive deeper into your story. Mr. Roger... Houston, did yes, I say ma'am. that right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. Ma'am. How you feeling? I am feeling so great. I'm just excited. It's really been an honor to just kind of get to know you. Roger has been in the investment space industry for over four years now. He is newer in the retail space, but he has done tons of like wholesaling and really been at the grind of the real estate industry. So now using his construction and fire protection background industry, we are now on the same team, kid. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. About to kill it. We is so exciting. So I'm really, I, I love Jennifer Spinelli. We have to give her a shout out. Yes. Big shout to Jen. Big yeah, Jen's big Spinelli. shout to Jen. Jen is just like such a kind hearted individual who really does care about the success of right, everybody. Right. How'd you find LPT? How'd you find Jen? <clears throat> well, started with EXP. Um, and I think like after the, the next day, after I took my tests, okay. I joined the EXP, reality hit me. It was like, okay, where are these leads coming from? How am I going to get this business started? And literally, I think three days later, EXP connected me with Jen and she became my mentor from that point on. And then I've been following greatness and is leading to more greatness. So we're about to become <laughs> great. Awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think that what's really great about, you know, being with people in the industry is we all know what our strengths and weaknesses are, right? So I definitely want to dive deeper into your story later in the show. Roger is a cancer survivor. Amen. If I had one of the clapping and be like, ah, yeah, I go, go team. Amen. So I think that it just shows like who you are as a person, that you're a fighter, you have pe- perseverance, and I know that. Uh, you're going to be super awesome I now that we've it. all kind of meshed in this LPT space. So I definitely want to come back to you, Melissa, and talk about the infamous question that we have for everyone in the industry right now. I know since you've been in the industry 20 years, but I really expect respect about people that have experiences. You've been through all the ups and downs cycles, yes. right? So what is your opinion about real estate and financing right now in the space that we're in today? Well, I mean, obviously we're in a space where the rates have increased pretty much doubled and you know for a long time we you know the interest rates have been really low the the there were so many people out there looking there was low inventory so it was it was just for that that it was just but non-stop for you know several years and come the interest rates it's taken a step back and I know a lot of people are worried that it's a bubble and it's going to crash like it did in seven and eight but you know, if you really look at the signs and the, and everything that's going on, I'm definitely seeing a pickup. You know, interest rates are still lower than the average. If you look over the last, I know we just got lucky, years. right? Yeah. So I think it just gonna it's taken taken a while, and I'm really seeing it come around where people are realizing, hey, these rates are still wonderful, and now home prices are pulling back a little bit. It's it's giving an opportunity for first time home buyers to hopefully have a little more opportunity than being beat out by cash buyers or that sort of thing. So I see it as a real positive. I think that it's not going to come through your door anymore. I think that, you know, it's back to providing the service that is really deserved of our clients. And a lot of people will fall out. They won't make it. 
But I agree. I think that this is a time for grind and hustle. We can't wait to provide you tons of knowledge later in the show. We're going to dive deeper with Melissa on some really great products that she has available. We're going to talk to Kira and Roger about getting into the industry, what their thought process is, what their niches that they focus on, and just really providing you guys a lot of industry information in regards to what is happening in business today, what's happening to the people that are jumping into the business world and really needing to like personal in their career 2023 is going to be a year where you have to be a fighter you have to be a winner you have to provide great customer service because if you don't you will get weeded out miss melissa if someone wants to contact you what are those digits 813-376-9888 miss kiera can you give everyone your phone number please 813-924-9368 and Mr. Roger, throw out those numbers. 727-748-3543. To all the listeners out there, you are not going to want to miss us after the break. We are going to, like I said, dive deep into what is going on financially in the market. We've had so many Q&A sessions, and I don't want to be the blanketed people just talking finance and real estate. We want to dive deep in our opinions, give you a level of comfortability. We also want to talk to you about business and life as well. We're going to talk about Roger being a cancer survivor and what he's doing in his his career today we're going to take a break pay some bills and we'll be right back the best comp plans ever in in stock and revenue share but if if we're not closing real estate transactions all of that is worthless because ultimately everything starts with a real estate transaction which starts with a consumer and so we wanted to arm our agents with the absolute best technology and best marketing tools to do more real estate and that's again i think a big differentiator i think very few brokerages really sit down and say, how do we provide tools to make sure that our agents can be more productive, sell more real estate, win more listings, win at more listing appointments, help more buyers find that home, and we're very focused on that. So while we have the best comp plans and the best ways for agents to generate wealth and earn, we also have the best tools, and more importantly, I would say have the best tools to help you be successful in real estate. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, Betsy Tinnervin, with the Sunshine Real Estate Investments Team at LPT Realty. This show is the raw and real of life, business, and of course, real estate. We are happy to have Melissa Cox with First Florida Home Mortgage, Kira Hires with the LPT Realty Group, as well as the team, the Lux Group. And we also have Roger Husner, who has been an investor in this space for several years now, jumping into residential as well. He is also with the Sunshine Real Estate Investments team. So happy to have some quality agents and amazing branch manager in the studio today. We're going to circle back before the break, Melissa, we kind of dove a little bit into what your theories are, but I, I got to be raw and real because that's what this show is, right? Sure. So we don't do the whole like, oh, it's a good time to buy and, you know, date the rate, marry the house. Like, no, right? What are you seriously telling buyers right now? You already touched a little bit on it. I love your perception. Basically, the rates are lower than what they normally are. So it's not a huge deal that they're not at 3.5%. But what are you doing with buyers and agents right now to be a catalyst and connector, making buyers feel comfortable to buy? I think you have to show them that even at the higher rates, that like as of today, if you compare the home values, if they pull back, you know, a little bit, thirty or forty thousand, you're even at the higher rate with the lower home price. That it's not that big. It's not that big of a difference. I think also the rents are just so high everywhere. It's also reaching out to renters and letting them know the benefits of purchasing a home, having equity and long-term stability and also the tax benefits and just trying to point out basically the advantages of home ownership to our buyers. 100%. I think that there are huge advantages of home ownership. I also think that you can obviously take an asset and leverage more debt off of it. You know, getting a HELOC loan, house hacking with a duplex, doing all those things. So I agree, really educating buyers on why. I also think that it is crazy, especially in the Tampa market, how we are an apex market where home prices are rising, but rental prices are rising as well. So if you are in a year long lease, and you don't have something locked in, you can legitimately have your rent go up $200 a month tomorrow, which is like a whole a whole situation. I think that it gets crazy. 
in that the education piece has to be there. We have to educate people on why and how and all of those things. So Melissa, I love that. Kiara, being new in the industry, you know, joining a team, I love your perception on that. I think that I have a huge thing in my book too that with a lot of my, you know, big competitors, I always say, you know, if you can't beat them, join them because I think that's a huge model to just kind of live by in the factor that I don't want to beat out from people that are really good. I want to follow the trend. I want to blend in. I want to do things with them. And I think that in our industry, it's very skewed that every other agent is your competitor. So why join the Lux Group? What was your motive in that? Why become a agent on a team? What's kind of your plans in 2023 as far as that's concerned? So I wanted to join the Lux Group because when I was speaking with Yvonne and telling her, you know, like my plans with learning from the best, you know, really getting coached, really, really following my goals and having someone that pushes me through my goals, she was able to do that. So far, it's just been amazing just with everything that I've learned. So a lot of the stuff that you take during the state exam, once you get out here, that stuff goes out the door. So when I joined the group, I learned so much. It was just like totally different from what I was studying day and night, day and night in the book. So now just for 2023, like I really want to focus on first home buyers because it was scary. I'm a first home buyer. And when I went through the process, I kind of felt like, am I ready for this home or am I still trying to be a renter? But, you know, once you actually get through the process, it's so rewarding. And I want to be that person for whoever's coming out here, first home buyer, straight out of the renters, you know, so they can know, you know, hey, I know it's scary. Here, here are the documents. I've been through it because I didn't want to go out there and actually promote oh, first home buyers and not really know the process. I love I've, your theory. Yeah. I think your theory is phenomenal. I think that one, it makes you relatable to your clientele. Mm -hmm. I think for everyone out there that's in sales or looking for a niche, you definitely have to relate to your customer base. You have to know who your niche is, be relatable, and then execute. So I think your strategy is phenomenal. I also think that it's awesome that you went through the process yourself. I think it's like, have you ever gone to like a gym class and the teachers like, 100 pounds overweight, I want to be like, yo, I don't really want to participate. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing, kids, like, you're not looking like this is for you. So like, I, it's really not for me, you know? So I love the factor that you have decided, okay, I walked through this process. I know what this is like for me. Now I'm going to help you. And then just also the ways that maybe you felt uncomfortable with an agent or a lender and where you didn't feel secure. What was that process like for you, honestly, now that you're an agent do you look back going they didn't Man, do their job what like i have through this process i've learned that it's so great to have relationships with like your lender and your title company now big shout out for my lender it was cross country mortgage tommy he helped me through the process with the mortgage he explained why he's getting these documents why does this work with your rate approval now of course and I've learned this through the classes at Embrace Home Loans. It is so much better to go through a process with a lender that has a relationship, a good relationship with a title company. Because I believe once we got to that point of actually almost closing is when the relationship got rocky. But, you know, the lenders was able to go through the process, following up like, hey, we need this document. We need this. Um, going through the, the prelim CDs. Now, that was just I learned so much through that process. But it was great. Like, it good. was, it yeah. was good. I think that, that two education is like huge. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. Crazy. It's huge. I think that some of the classes, you know, that we're teaching for you guys, I think it's important that we connect you with like a ecosystem of people that can work together. And I'm sure, Melissa, you can relate to that too, that it's Absolutely. just, you, you know, you have to have people that are willing like to work together. I love that, Kiara. I can't wait to see like the things that you're going to do in 2023. I think that that's awesome. I think your plan is great for everyone out there that is owning a business or trying to be in business, whether you're in real estate, title, mortgage, lending, or anything outside of our ecosystem or space, you really do have to relate to your customer base. It's how you win relate to your customer base and over deliver find a way to provide excellent customer service roger we can't give them everything before the break 
<laughs> okay, because we're going to dive deep into this right, after right, the break. Right, right. But just from your standpoint, I know you came from EXP to LPT, and now you have found a home like on a team. So why be on a team as an agent? Like what is beneficial for you? To be honest, when I first started with EXP, like I said, that nightmare a couple of days, you know, a day or two after, you know, you get your license and you're like, oh, I'm a realtor. And like, like the next question is now what? And I'm to be honest with you for the four or five months I was with EXP, like I'm still waiting on the lead. I haven't gotten one yet. You know, I, I like their training and so forth. And from day one of being with LPT, I was averaging five to six leads a day. And I, I'm actually closing, you know, a deal here on February 21st. So, you know, and I'm working seven others right now. So, I mean, it's remarkable right now, the way things are going, the team, you know, having, whether it's your team lead or people on a team that have the experience to answer a question at 11 o'clock at night, you know, one thirty. I've been on the phone with some of my teammates, one thirty in the morning, you know, working on a deal or, you know, and just to have that, that camaraderie and that, that brotherhood or sisterhood, you know, with, with different teammates is awesome. Like you can't do this by yourself, just coming out of the gate. 100%. I agree entirely. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, Roger, can you give them those digits? Yes, 727-748-3543. Miss Melissa Cox with First Florida Home Mortgage. Could you give them your phone number? 813-376-9888. And Miss Kiera Hires. 813-924-9368. We are going to be back after the break. We are actually going to dive deep with Mr. Roger because we have not really heard from him yet. And he is going to talk about his journey and what he's been through being a cancer survivor, coming from the construction fire protection industry and go into what he did jumping into real estate. And I think it's just important that we talk about when you are totally at breakdown point, being able to wait and have patience for a breakthrough. I think that that is an immense situation in everyone's lives. We did COVID. We are now doing this whole recession. So what a better time to talk about starting 2023 with somebody that has kind of been through that. And then we'll obviously come back to Miss Melissa Cox with First Florida Home Mortgage and dive into some financial pieces as well as Miss Kiara Hires as well to get her insight more on her real estate career. We're happy that you're with us today. We're going to take a break and pay some bills. We'll see you after the break. Biggest win, I think, with the dual path and having these two models is that now we become a brokerage for everyone. No matter where you are in your real estate career, or what your goals are today, maybe today you're not interested in recruiting or having a team, but then one day you wake up and you are. Well, if you're at the wrong brokerage to do that, you're locked in. Where in our model, we're not holding anyone hostage. We're not tying anyone in. You can move between the different comp plans and have that success and really achieve whatever your definition of success is under one brokerage platform being LPT. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, Betsy Tenervin with the Sunshine Real Estate Investments Team. Also, this show is powered by LPT Realty. I want to give a huge shout out to Robert Palmer for making this show possible. We want all businesses, realtors, anyone that's contributing value to the Tampa Bay area to be able to come on our show, spit gems to our community, and just be a huge catalyst and connector. I think that's what Robert's done his entire career has been a catalyst and connector in the mortgage and then just tool. He provides so many tools for his realtors and he's done that prior to even birthing LPT Realty. We here in Tampa Bay want to be a catalyst and connector for everybody in our community. All things raw and real life, business, and of course, real estate. If you are with us, segments one and two, we were just going to throw it back to Mr. Roger. Roger Husner. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes, ma'am. Husner. 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 Okay. So Roger Husner, he has actually come from the construction fire protection industry. He is a local agent with the LPT brokerage, as well as being on a real estate team. Now a merger on my team, yes, which is so exciting. Big things, big and things. he was a wholesaler for a while, but he also is a cancer survivor. So Roger, take me back, man. So, like take me back to the day. I know this is always the question people want. Take me back to the day where you're sitting there and someone says you have cancer. So that moment. Literally the night before I went to the doctor, I couldn't move my left arm. I could only lift it up maybe 
you know, to a certain degree. And okay. I look in my neck, I look in the bathroom mirror, and there's a, it looks like what, like a half a baseball sticking out of my neck, which is one of my lymph nodes that got infected. I go to the doctor on a Monday, he spends maybe 10 minutes looking at me and says, I'm sending you to a specialist. I go to the specialist Tuesday, he looks at me for 20 minutes and says, meet me on the operating table Wednesday morning. They do a biopsy. I had what's called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Went through five months of, of chemotherapy and a month of radiation, 30 days straight. The first session of going through chemo, it literally took me, I say about 16 hours to go through the chemo, the chemo process, which was supposed to take me no more than five hours. And literally the, the, you know, the medication, the last bag was probably no bigger than two packs of Kool-Aid put together. When I tell you that, that bag alone took me hours to, to finish. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, they got these IVs, they're sticking me in my hand. They wanted to give me a port in my chest and you know, I was fighting through that stuff there, you know, and a little sovereign. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you <laughs> I know. feel you. I feel you. And then, you but know, take me back to that moment of just going, okay, like we have two options, right? Mm -hmm. So option one is we fight and we deal with all the things that we don't want to deal with. Right. Or option two is we don't. So why and how, if anyone out there is listening, would, what would you say to them to go, okay, this is what I was told. This was the situation. What do I do? I think, the first my relationship with God was the the key to everything. You know, he has a purpose for everybody on this earth. So I said, listen, I'm gonna fight until he tells me my purpose is done. And once I got past that point where it was like, I'm a fight, I'm not going to allow this thing to take me down. The only thing that can take me down is if God says today is your day and it's over. And I've been fighting ever since. And since then, I've always wanted to, this real estate has been on my mind. To be honest with you, I want to be a real estate agent before I became a real estate agent. And I was always putting it off, putting it off. And uh, finally moving to Florida, moving from the East Coast of Florida to West Coast, I said, it's time to do this. I saw the opportunity. And my goal for this year is to start to give back to a certain cancer society that I can help out and help somebody that's going to go through the same thing that I had to go through. I love that. I think that also like being in that moment, just imagine how cool it would be to have somebody that has been in that same moment. I think that there's certain things in your life that you just cannot relate to. Right. Like I could never say to you, Hey, I know how that feels. Right, right, right. Just like what they say about like the loss of a child, you know, a parent that loses a child, no one can say, I understand how you feel, you know? So sitting in a room where someone tells you, hey, you have an illness that is deadly and could kill you. Right. And then we're going to make you a little bit more sick mm -hmm. while you're supposed to be getting healthy. Yeah, exactly. That is a fight or flight moment. And I think that your personality and just the whole perseverance when you are truly at like a place of being at the bottom, that there's a difference. We all make choices in our lives too where Sometimes we put ourselves at the bottom, right? right? Like we for chose sure, sure. that, but your situation is a situation where that was not a choice, you know, and I am honored to just kind of be around you and hear that story. I, I saw it. your emotion kind of mm -hmm. set in when <laughs> you started talking about that. I have a tendency to do that to people on I the show, I by heard, the way. I, heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get deep with the vulnerability, I but I think that your attitude about it is phenomenal. So what I want you to tell everybody is just if somebody right now is like sitting in that moment where they feel like they're just truly at rock bottom self-inflicted or not self-inflicted mm -hmm. you were that person that was just waiting for someone to like reach that hand down and you know pull it what do you want to say to the listeners i'm gonna tell you that anything is possible and like i said if you keep god first you have to build a relationship with god first and with him you know anything everything that you ask for all you got to do is ask and he'll give it to you you just got to be consistent you can't treat god like a you can't have a seesaw relationship with god you can't like him today and then once he gives you everything you forget who he is tomorrow you know, and that, that's, that's how I live, you know, every day pretty much. So this, this industry right now is for me to give back before I receive. And, and that's my approach for 2023. I absolutely love that. I, I'm a little speechless. So Melissa, I kind of want to go to you right off of what Roger said, because I think that his story is very impactful, but I think what he said at the end about you can't just, and, and I know that Langston, my boy, is probably watching on Facebook Live. 
you know, he said something great on the investor. He said, everybody wants to be there on the weekend. Everyone wants to be there for the party, but they don't want to be there during the week when you got to put the work in. Yes, so you, Melissa, have been in this industry 20 years and gone through these ups and downs. So why stay in it? Like why hustle this year? What do you think is going to happen? You know, kind of going into 2024, give people advice out there of why you've stayed in it 20 years through the ups and downs. It's pretty stressful agents as well. But there's nothing better when you hand over the keys to someone and, you know, they've, they've owned their own home. And especially, you know, when you start talking to them, you can feel that they don't have that confidence that it's going to go through. They're so worried that it's not. So I think that just means so much that that's why I keep plugging and keep pushing and plugging and, you know, learning every day and learning social media. <laughs> Going I love through that. stages like that, you know, it's, it's always a new challenge. I think that's the other part. It's always that's awesome. New. Yeah. I think that that's really great. And I think that just flows right into Kiara and we're going to come back after the break and touch a little bit more on this. But I think that the experience, like you said, Kiara, of getting those keys and being like, I accomplished this and working with someone like Melissa in the industry where you guys can say, we got someone from point A to point B is super amazing we're gonna come back with miss kiara after the break i want to make sure you guys get all these lovely people's phone numbers kiara hires throughout those digits 813-924-9368 and miss melissa cox with Fl first florida home mortgage 813-376-9888. And Mr. Roger Husner. 727-748-3543. <laughs> we are honored to have all these three people in the studio today. And I am truly blessed. Every time I do the show, I learn about people. And if you miss segments one and two, I apologize for you because Melissa Cox found us on Facebook, linked up with us through a Facebook group, have not even had the opportunity to do business with her which I'm so excited to kind of expand my horizon and find out what she has to offer Kira and Roger two people coming in the industry taking the bull by the horns Kira first time home buyer wanting to help people in the same industry Roger having the investment experience and obviously overcoming as a cancer survivor I think it's amazing in the world today how there is power in numbers and people and how people should not be looked at as your competitors but as people that you can win with and for me, I'm only as good as the people that I help on a daily basis. So I think it's really important for people to team up with others and win together. I think that if anyone remembers, you know, high school or if, even if I have any high schoolers listening, it's a lot easier to do your homework when you have a buddy or a partner. It's harder when you're standing all alone. And for everyone out there listening, I think what's really great about today is you have to remember before you have a breakthrough, you have a breakdown. And whether you are at the bottom of the valley or the top of the mountain, you know, you're not the one that put you there. And the someone's plan is bigger than yours. So no matter who your higher power is or what your spiritual journey is, I hope that you surround your people on great growth tracks and that are al on, in alignment with you. And I'm honored to have these three people here today. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back for all of their final thoughts in segment four and plug you a little bit more in, in information. Catch you after the break. Welcome back to the LPT All-Star Radio Show. I am your host, Betsy Tenervin with LPT Realty and the Sunshine Real Estate Investments Team. Appreciate all of our listeners out there. I hope that you have gotten all the gems today in today's show from Melissa Cox, First Florida Home Mortgage, Kira Hires, Team Lux, Lux Group with LPT Realty, Roger Husner with LPT Realty and the Sunshine Real Estate Investments Team. We have some true gems on the show. We took you through a bunch of ways these guys have overcome, broken through, and just kind of accepted all the challenges that came in the mortgage and real estate industry. And I'm going to throw it back to Miss Kiara. She walked us through being a first time home buyer, really going through the kind of experience, not being a licensed agent. Now she's on a real estate team and 
kind of told us our plans for 2023, but what I really want to throw back at you, Kiara, is how do you take your recruitment with Admit Health and your prior career and blend that into what you're doing in real estate now? It's all about time management. Time blocking, you can do so much. You know, like I can wake up in the morning, check what I have to do with Advent Health, just like I had to be here. So I knew I had to get, you know, what I had to get done with them and be here. So really just time management. Then after work is when I have my time for my real estate, send out email, helping people with sending properties that they're interested in. That's really like that after, after work hours, but it's definitely a big juggle, but at the end, it's all going to be, it's all going to be worth it. And why right now? with someone that's super scared as a first time home buyer, interest rates are high. Why right now is it a good time to contact a local agent like yourself and purchase a home? The time is never going to be right. The time is now, you know, no matter for what, starting out in real estate, whatever you're trying to do, the time is going to be now. When you get your house now, and let's say, you know, you have good credit, wait until, you know, the market is a little bit better and you can refinance. It's always going to be a better time and now is just the best time to just go ahead and just go ahead and, and knock it out. I also think too, like when we're hesitant to do something because we feel uncomfortable, when we're uncomfortable is when we grow the most as people. So I think that when you push yourself and you go, okay, now's the time, then I think that really great things happen. And I think fear is normal. Yeah. Like it's okay to be fearful. Yeah. And with preparation, when you have preparation, the opportunity is going to come. 100%. So just, you know, as long as you're you're preparing for that time, when that opportunity comes, it's it's going to be a knockout. 100%. I couldn't agree more. And Miss Melissa, what programs do we have available right now that you would suggest? I don't know if you have a buy down or even like Hometown Heroes or what is your favorite program right now that you really feel agents, LOs, buyers, all the people should be really getting to know, especially with First Florida Home Mortgage? As we've talked about Hometown Heroes, it is a wonderful program. You could get eligible heroes can get up to 5% or 25000 towards the purchase of their home. So it's a wonderful way to thank our frontline heroes. I think that's a wonderful program that the buy downs are wonderful because you got a, a lot of, you have a three, two, one, a two, one, and a one, and a one, one, and they enable someone to get used to the higher interest rates the first couple of years, and then gradually go to the full note rate, depending on which buy down they choose. The one thing that, that I would like to ask is, is sometimes you get afraid and people won't call, even if you're not ready, maybe even for a year. That doesn't mean you can't start working on your credit, start preparing everything to make your process smooth. And again, we're talking about fear. It's like, what can they do? Say no, I'll just give us a call. Let's just research. 100%. You know? I think that it's awesome. I mean, just like, hey, found your Facebook group. I want to be on the radio. Send it out an email. <laughs> I think it's awesome. What I think it's great, too, is like in this type of environment, you really get to know people kind of on like an intimate level. Because what people don't understand about radio and things like that is there's no preparation. It's just like, hey, rapid fire questions, right? I love that. I think that if you are wanting to reach out, you definitely should. We'll throw out Melissa's digits again at the end of the show. And Roger, I'm coming back to you for yes, some final thoughts. I think that it's important when the listeners are listening. I get so many awesome texts. I love that from the people that text me on the weekends. Just kind of like, hey, we listened to your show. This is what we got out of it. It was motivating or it was inspiring or all the different things. What do you want to say to people out there? I think there's a lot of people in 2023 thinking about investing in real estate. They're thinking about starting a business. They're going through all like the fear process, the why now. What do you want to tell them? It, it is the time. As these great young ladies have just said, it would be like us trying to wait for the price of milk to go back to $1.25. It's never going to happen. You know, you, you have to know the strength of your dollar. And as long as you know the strength of your dollar, that's where you, you don't need to exceed that, but stay within those means. If you got to start off with a mobile home, know how to make money with that mobile home. Don't look at a quad when you don't have that quad money. Your, your dollar bill has doesn't have that strength, but you start to build from little and you just build up and you move up. I will say the real estate industry, we hear that it's slow and the, the rates are high, but 
when I look on my MLS, I see tons of opportunity every day. So Amen to that. that. That's my thing right now is to provide a solution to a buyer's needs. I'm that with you want to call me the candy store, you want to call me the dessert lounge, I have a dessert for you. Uh, whatever you need, I'm going to find that for you. I think, too, what's really great is, you know, don't wait for opportunity, create it. That's it. You know, you just, you cannot wait for opportunity. You create opportunity. That's it. And so I think that whether it's buying real estate, whether it's starting a business, whether it's taking a class, getting certified, like to all the listeners out there, like if you sit around and wait for everything to come to you, that's an issue. Oh, yeah. You know? Like Melissa Cox is a straight all-star now. She is an all-star. She said, yo, I want to be on the radio. And I was like, come on, come in. That's it. I want to throw it back to you, Kira, too, for final thoughts on goal setting. I think that what Roger just said is, hey, let's know the strength of your dollar. I think I want to come back to you with final thoughts on what do you want to tell people? Like it's still January. You know, there's a whole ploy out there with people that do resolutions. I don't know if you know this or not, but nine out of 10 people fail the new year's resolution that they set one because it's just not attainable they maybe aren't capable they just it's unrealistic right so if you had to give advice to everyone's out there for setting goals in 2023 kind of like what you've done what would you say you just have to go out there and believe that it can be done once you set a timeline say oh i'm going to get my credit right in the next six months and by the end of the year, I'm going to either be prepared to go ahead and start my pre-approval process. Just make sure that you have a deadline because if you don't have a deadline, it's, it's just going to sit. It's it's not really going to be attainable. But really just go out there and start looking up the process. I didn't know the process of, of course, I knew the process of a home, purchasing a home, but I didn't know what first-time home buyer program to really go after until I started doing my research. So really just going out there and getting that research set those goals do the research and set a timeline you know i love that i love the whole manifest too like manifest it set it up go get it execute it love that well we want to give a shout out to you guys as fearless leaders yvonne reyes with the lux group with kiera hires and jennifer spinelli with roger Husner, let's give a shout out to the fearless leaders at LPT that bring agents in. They train them. They create mentorship programs for them. I think team leads are amazing people. I'm one myself and I really pride myself on that. Roger, throw out those digits for everyone listening that needs to connect hey. with an educated LPT realtor. Hey, this is Roger Husner, 727-748-3543. Melissa Cox, I have loved meeting you. I definitely want to connect after the show. This is awesome that we actually met in person on a radio show. I'm so glad that you reached out. I think that what you're doing is amazing. I love your experience in the lending industry. Could you give everyone your phone number? Absolutely. 813-376-9888. And Miss Kiara Hires, go-getter, fighter, believer, all the things. LPT agent with the Lux Group. Could you give everyone your phone number? 813-924-9368. Well, we are happy to have these guests here today. We also really appreciate all of our listeners out there. Everyone that watches us live on Facebook, tunes in on the weekends, and then of course replays our audiograms on YouTube. Our Facebook page is the LPT Realty All-Star Facebook group. If you're a local business interested in getting on the show, local LPT Realtor, we would love to have your insight and bring you on, allow you to spit gems to everyone in the Tampa Bay community. We again want to give a shout out to everyone down south in Fort Myers, Cape Coral, Port Charlotte, that is still rebuilding from Hurricane Ian. We're with you. We have not forgotten you. Again, we love talking about the raw and real of life, business, and real estate. We appreciate all of our loyal listeners. And again, give another shout out to LPT Realty, Robert Palmer, for making this feasible. And unfortunately, our show has to conclude today, but we will catch you next weekend. Thanks for listening to the Raw and Real of Real Estate podcast. Powered by LPT Realty, real estate reimagined. We hope this episode motivated and inspired you. And don't forget to rate and review us. Thanks again for listening to the Raw and Real of Real Estate podcast with Betsy Tenervin.